Yo, cho, what go on, everybody? Yeah, man, give me a back with a new video. As you already see on the screen, I'm using the Tyrese Halliburton behind the back. His hesitation is also one of the best in the game. Now, I'm going to show you guys why. Look at how easy you can chain mint combo with this. Even if you're messing up on your combos like I did right there, and you just saw a sneak peek of his head, I'm about to show you guys that. You have infinite combos with this behind the back. I'm also going to show you guys some of the tricks you can do with this hesitation, like this stutter step right here. So there's no surprise, I mean, unless you've been living on the rock, the way 2K has been doing things is they have made sure that when they release a signature player each season, that's what the season is going to be about. And we learned that season one. These are the rewards. If you're curious, I'm not interested in none of these rewards. Like I said, I was waiting, waiting for the three point sleeve because that is something useful for me. But I think this scar right here, the, the scar eye thing at level one is the, the biggest W of this season to me. All right. Now you have his jump shot. You have his animations. His layup is actually going to be a good one. I can't get down this build, but nonetheless, I get a high knock on this build, so I'm not tripping. He doesn't get no dribble stars or signature size up or anything. Matter of fact, the only thing you're going to get is a crossover. And you see his crossover is right here and it's good, but not better than Wall or Bryant, Kobe. So don't, I wouldn't recommend putting it over those. And then you're going to have his, um, the, his, uh, I think it's, yeah, his behind the back for sure. We've been waiting on that. And I've been waiting on it for a good, since the game came up pretty much. I've been labbing up with it. So I already know how to lab up with it. Nothing new to me. Has a nice moving behind the back as well. But the curry slide out of it is really good. Kind of reminds me of 2K20 style behind the back, but just a watered down version. People are going to say Jamal Murray is better. Let me tell you why Jamal Murray might be better for you rather than somebody like me that does the comp made up um, combos that can do some glitches. Jamal Murray is going to be better if you're somebody that needs a behind the back to get open. All right. On your ISO and stuff like that, it's going to be better. For screens, Tyrese Halliburton is going to be the best, best thing out there because it's the fastest one and it gives you enough space to get your shot off if your shot is fast enough. So with screens, Jamal Murray is good, but on a small guard, you're going to get contested. The big guards don't get contested like the small guards. If you have a big guard with T Mac base, you're not getting contested. So you don't have a problem using Jamal Murray. But when you need to get your shot off fast, and you want to combo up fast, this Tyrese Halliburton behind the back is it. Now, earlier you saw me highlight his hesitation. His hesitation definitely put that on. I'm telling you right now, his hesitation is, to me, the next best thing now. It gives you the best, like, moving fast animation to the side, and you can hezi boost out of it. You can also do a starter step boost out of it, which is going to be good for the L2 cancels and left stick cancels. Trust when I say this. Now, let me go ahead and put this back on to Scoot Henderson. I was messing around with Rosier, but it's not worth it. Now, big guard six, all you're going to do is if you can get that behind the back, put it on. You already see the six right here. Um, and if you can get the, the hesitation, which is a 79 ball handling, so you should be able to get the hesitation. Unfortunately for me, I can't get the behind the back on my 6.7. I have to remake it, put that 87 ball handling, and we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> but... We already told you put the hesitation on, so just look at the jump shot. You, It's going to be slow for the big builds. I wouldn't even recommend using it if you want to use it. It's up to you. Now, in the store, swags, you know, because we we, go, we like to go through everything before we show you some gameplay of the moves then on that Sunset Park. I'll show you guys what to expect because, you know, I'm going to combo up the same against the bots as I do against the online bots when I'm a comboing up against them or when I'm in the comp comp, which is what I'm going to be doing. We're in that comp scene. You know I'm going to combo up the same way. All right, I like to play the same way in every mode. Now, you see this starry close there. Right now, the first thing when me think about when me see this is Jamaica 876. Me, I forget one of them sitting here and put it on. I'm going to wear them. I'm going to this. I'm going to be my new fit. Because me, I feel represent my country. Me, I feel represent me yard. Where me come from. And right now, I'm going to be showing you guys a jump shot. All right. So I'm definitely going to rock out that Jamaican color star if it. I know it's a drink, but it's Jamaican color. So if you put Steph Curry base on lowest speed and put 100% release, Tyrese Maxi is going to be the fastest release in this game for a small guard. No matter what you do, it's going to be the fastest one. Trust and believe that. Next in line, I would say Colin Sexton is also one of the fastest ones. It still gives you a max out A+. a plus. Ken Walker gives you one of the best height, but not the best speed. And then, you know, like I said, Colin Sexton gives you a great height as well for the speed. Oscar Robertson gives you a great overall everything. But let's see what Halliburton is this year. Gives you pretty much a great overall everything as well. Just a tad bit slower than Oscar Robertson, which is a problem for me this year. 
but one thing Halliburton is good for is fading, setting up the fades. Last year, I used it in the comp stage every single day for the majority of the year with my Breda Caillou. And a lot of comp stage, you know, guards, they would hit me up and they would be like, appreciate you putting me on that Halliburton. I would be in my Breda Bullet stream or other people stream and they would be like, Yad, man, you put me on Halliburton, jump shot release. Definitely something good. Now, if you want it to be faster, I would put something, one of the fastest releases with it, if you're going to be using it. Sexton, most likely, but if you're somebody that likes slow jump shots, this is the one I would use right here. But I have my own jump shot. Copy the six them down. I have my own jump shot. Now, right here, you see, I was spamming the behind the bike, just showing you guys with the L2, the left stick cancel, and then the little hezzy cancel right there. But it's not going to be as fast as if you left stick cancel. I dropped a tutorial on the left stick cancel already. And the L2 cancel. Everything you need to know how to move like me, I've already released all the secrets. There's nothing I'm doing that you don't know how to do without me showing you. It's just because you haven't watched the video and take the time to learn. Now, the jump shot is slow. I don't like Halliburton release this year because it's slow. But for the fades, it is actually good. But it is slow. No, if you put Maxi on the second release or Sexton, it's going to feel way faster and it's going to be usable. But like I said, if you want that left stick cancel, go ahead and check out a couple videos ago. Now, the fade is good. Now, right here is hesitation. You see how that run it gives you? If you let it play out and then run again a little bit after it starts playing out, it gives you a little hesitation. Now, what this is going to be good for is going to be the hezzy boost for the big guards. Or if you are a small guard that really can't get a good dribble style, which I don't know why you would do that unless it's like twos or one purposes, then I would use um, Halliburton and hezzy boost with it. Now, this is the jump shot I'm using. I'm taking that jump shot off because this is the jump shot that if you guys were wondering when I would drop that uh, left stick cancel. Oh, what's that jump shot, yeah, man? It's going to be that jump shot. I'm going to release it soon. If you don't want to wait for that, just check out the, the roster I created. It's on there for the OGs, them, for the people that are loyal enough to do that. Now, the first shot, I was, I know it's contested. I know it's contested, but I really wasn't tripping on that. I'm just trying to get the shot off, see what it looks like when they're in front of your face. Because even with Jamal Murray, if you hit them with that on a small guard, it's still going to be like an 11% contest on a small guard. Big guards, you're going to be wide open no matter what. You could be using any behind the back, even a little mellow ball. <laughs> if you have a T-Mike base on, you're good. Right, right here, this is what I wanted to see. And this is probably what you're going to want to see since a lot of y'all that watch my videos have come to watch my videos because you play stage all year, all day. Because once you get a taste of that comp scene, it's not nothing else that makes it entertaining for you. And that's why I love playing comp every year. All right. This year, I'm about to get back into it now. The fresh, you know, January. So we have a lot of months to just sweat the stage now. Um, my, bre my brethren's coming back as well. So, you know, all is good. Now, the reason why I'm saying it's going to be elite for screens and small guards that love to chain mint is because you have infinite combos even when you mess up like look at the space it's just a quick way to get the shot off right there i took a crazy shot don't worry about that you know me i'm gonna shoot the sosas but the reason why this is going to be good for screens is because jamal murray won a small guard when you're getting doubled on the screens you're not going to have an open shot unless you're completely bopping people completely but with this Halliburton. It's such a fast move that if the screen is set right and you set it up right, you're going to be open every single time. And if you're not open, it's such a fast move you can recover out of, unlike Murray and all those other ones, that you're going to be able to keep the combo going. And hit it again if you need to left stick cancel, right? Because Murray takes a little while to wind up. It seems faster than everything else, for sure, trust me, like Harden, but it takes a little while to, to warm up. Halliburton is pretty much Murray and Harden combine if you want to say that because it gives you good space it doesn't give you a weird angle or anything so i definitely would recommend using this if you're somebody that loves to dribble fast chainment and create your shots you know you're not big behind the back made because if you're big behind the back made which is not wrong about it you don't need to be using this because the chances are if you don't have t-mac base on or a base that on a big build and you don't know how to get open like see right there i messed up on my combo i set up his hezzy into the l2 cancel pullback I hit the behind the back again, and guess what? Wide open with my fastest jump shot that I have now that is actually really green. Not curry based, by the way, as you can clearly see. No, my thing is this. I'm never going to set you up for failure. I already told you, if you're big behind the back, mate, I see right there, I got an anchor breaker, so you will get anchor breaker animations with it. If you're big behind the back, mate, just go ahead and stick to that Murray, Jamal Murray. But one thing I will use no matter what is his hesitation. Because his hesitation, you see the hezzy boost. I'm doing the hezzy boost. I'm not doing the Kyrie boost. I'm doing the hezzy boost right here. The hezzy boost is what I'm doing. And you see it's nice. You can do a starter step out of it. 
He has a great moving hesitation as well. So it's usable on the ones or the twos if you like to do the moving hesitation into the Kobe cross or the Jamal um John Wall cross. Um or do the hesitation into a Jamal Murray or the Halliburton behind the back. But this is what I would use if I were you guys. This exact six is what I would use. Substitute Kobe Bryant for John Wall if you're a big build and can't get Kobe Bryant. But make sure that hesitation is on that because the Hezi boost is going to be so easy to trigger out of it. And Hezi boosting is something that you want to be able to get off all right, on a big build because a lot of the times, like you see, I always use a LeBron because it has one of the best same side boosts and the misdirections. But if you Hezi boost, you're going to be good no matter what. But anyways, hit that like button, subscribe, big up on yourself. This is the season I plan to hit starter three. Last season, I only played 80 games. This season, I plan to play a lot. Big up on yourself. We're gone.